Right, and I just want to show you something really quick uh, regarding these shin guards. These uh, these bad boys here, again, these are Kong um, Super Shock uh, shin guards. Uh, well over two inches of padding over uh, the shin and an inch uh, and three quarters of padding over the foot. Again, you can see this is just a standard uh, size. There, this is a standard size. And you can see it goes just below my knee cap right here. I'm about six foot two. And my foot size is approximately, uh, uh, my shoe size is uh, 11, 11 and a half, depending on the shoe. And you can see it covers my toes quite well. And here, just to show you really quick, they're, they're very, very snug. I haven't, I could probably tighten them a bit more, but they're already fairly snug here. Uh, they won't shift around during training. But the thing I want to show you really quick is my little, uh, my little, my little shock test, I guess uh, I can call it. Um, usually, say with uh, our old silverback, the last batch of silverbacks from 2009, um, I'd probably be able to whack myself with this uh, this uh, stick here, maybe six, seven times before I feel any discomfort in my shin, and maybe just two, three times in the foot before I feel any discomfort. But uh, and say for another brand, let's say I would say uh, like a Top King, Top King Professional or King Professional, whatever. Uh, those ones there, I could probably get uh, just a few extra wax on the shin, maybe five or maybe six, seven wax before I'd realize, okay, this kind of sucks and I don't, don't want to do that anymore. And vice versa on the foot, probably even less, maybe just two or three wax, and, and I'd be like, oh, that's it, done. Uh, but anyways, just to show you the amount of uh, ridiculous protection these have in comparison, um, I'll just start whacking myself here. I'm not feeling a thing at all right now. I could probably do this all day. I'm going pretty much as hard as I can. And I'm not feeling any discomfort. You know, there's nothing there. I could, I'm just, you know, I could probably do that as a workout. Just, uh, and just do it forever and not, and not feel a single thing. And like I said, with, uh, with our previous uh, Silverback, uh, or our old Silverback model from 2010, 2009, you know, we, I'd probably do that maybe six, seven times before going, oh shit, this kind of hurts. Uh, while uh, in the King, maybe I'd be able to do that one or two extra times on top of that before I would start noticing any pain. But like say, uh, and then the foot here, this is the biggest thing here, is the foot, I'll just get my toes out of the way here, is that the foot usually, I would never be able to do that at all. Maybe three or four before I start going, oh, okay, I can feel that, that sucks. But here, again, I can probably go as far as I can. Nothing, you know, barely any discomfort. Again, with the shin area, you know, as hard as I can, I feel absolutely nothing. It's uh, an amazing, amazing. It's, uh, it's nice to know that, you know, you can have a shin guard now, that you can kick something as hard as you can and not feel a single thing. Again, if you're injured, these uh, these are perfect. If your, your shins are bruised up, you know, keep training. You don't have to worry about them, you know. Uh, you know, if you're, if you had to go, if you screwed up your foot because you're wearing a different type of shin guard and, uh, you know, you cut someone's elbow, you know what, you can probably use these while you're, uh, well, I guess your body's recovering, you know, until you're fully healed up. You can put these bad boys on and still train at a high, a decent intensity and still spar with uh, with people at uh, you know moderate to high intensity and actually still develop you know your time and your distance otherwise you're kind of like if you're injured you kind of you can't really train as hard you know then you're you're literally getting worse you know you're not getting any better anyways just wanted to show you that good old uh, new Kong shin guards